Welcome to the Starting Order Podcast. I am your host, Edward Shelton, a.k.a. Dark Logos. And this is the show where we look at the strategies, tactics, and mechanics behind the game of Hero Clicks. Uh, you might be wondering, why do we have video? <laughs> well, this is one of those, hey, uh, try to do something different videos. Uh, also, I uh, haven't really done this since the 50th episode, uh, so... It's, it's been a while, so, yeah, we're, we're a little bit due for one. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, this is going to be a, another one of those episodes where uh, you get to know a little bit more about me as a person versus me as, uh, this is what I think in the meta and the blah, uh, because really, in all honesty, uh, <laughs> with Gen Con coming up, I don't see a meta change, um, and and I really don't predict the meta shift. And and in all honesty, for those who have listened for uh, almost two years now, actually it should be over two years. Oh wow! Anyway, um, you would know that I would I would normally do a Gen Con prediction, um, and I've I've done a Gen Con prediction for the last two years, and this year I'm just not doing it. It's, it's no reason to. Um, Ghost Rider and stuff, Justice League and stuff, uh, and Justice League, yay. That's that's pretty much your options. Uh, yeah, that's that's the best way of putting it. So, uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, my birthday, which is uh, officially over, uh, but uh, it is over, like, well, as I'm looking at it, because it's like one in the morning. Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about my birthday and, and then some ideas and, and concepts that's come up and so uh, I don't know length on this and if, if you're one of those archive viewers and you're like I don't care about that tell me about the hero clicks uh, then you know hey uh, go ahead and, and skip this episode I, I won't hate on you uh, <laughs> I, I really won't uh, but I understand uh, so, uh, pretty much, uh, my my last year's birthday was rough. It it was it was really bad. Uh, lost uh, to uh, coming of Galactus to, to try to get. I mean, uh, not coming of Galactus. Uh, Infinity Gauntlet, uh, like month six or seven, whatever it was, eight, trying to win Thanos and that failed. Uh, uh, a lot of other drama happened after watching The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, so it it became one of those pressure cooker years. Well, pressure cooker birthdays. Um, I, I tried to do way too much in such a short period of time, and I tried to force uh, a, a different uh, thing to, to supposedly make me happy. Uh, that just really couldn't. Uh, so that was one thing when I, I look back at my my time last year uh, of how much I've grown is just I, like this year I was just like hey I'm not going to try to force to make this like the, the best few days ever I'm just going to have fun and so that really made I would say made the difference um, starting off the day did some cool stuff uh, ate, ate a good breakfast went out uh, to play Fear Itself and uh, I pulled okay, um, traded with uh, my friends at the venue, and I got the Wolverine. So I got the Wolverine from Fear Itself. Um, it's pretty much my net gain, and then a bunch of other stuff uh, that uh, I really didn't want. Um, I saw one of my uh, friends, Casey Dreadnought, he pulled uh, the Colossus, which is an awesome piece. It's, it's a great piece. Um, and, uh, it, it was fun playing, uh, that one round, <laughs> since there was only, what, three of us, we all got a Thor, so, uh, I had a Thor, and we just decided to play, uh, whatever we were going to build, 500 point game, plus the Thors, and, uh, so I won that, so I, I was happy, um, it was a tough game with, with Casey Dreadnought. Uh, and, and for those who don't know, he was probably, uh, he's been the originator of a lot of tech for 
uh, big events like uh, he's he's one of the main ones that sort of initiated uh, the uh, a watch who unspoken tech. Um, not only that, uh, he was uh, instrumental in a, in a bunch of tech ideas for uh, what was it? I know it was for uh, Infinity Gauntlet and a few team ideas uh, for um, uh, No Man's Land. Uh, so if you ever get a chance to, to look at some of the things he's posted, uh, you know, definitely let him know that he's appreciated. And, and my phone is letting me know that it has calls of people that want to send me text messages and everything else at this uh, late hour. So uh, anyway, so uh, anyway, I, I played him and uh, <laughs> Casey Dreadnought and I ended up uh, playing uh, Mega Lotus Man and, and another guy from our venue, and we did a 2v2. And uh, we played against the Kaiju with about 15 Fear Itself characters and uh, Jean Grey from the uh, Fast Forces, uh, uh, X-Men Fast Forces, which, like I said, you know, in previous episodes, she is pretty strong. And if it wasn't for all the BS that's out in the meta right now, she would be considered awesome. But anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, we, we got stomped by some kaiju. Ha having mystics plus poison and, and slattern being able to, to smack your very grouped up team uh, for five damage with a 13 attack and them having access to hammers, that is... Uh, that sort of sucks. That really, uh, that really sucks. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so I, I I learned a lesson from that game is a you know never under underestimate Mega Lotus Man. Uh, B never underestimate Mega Lotus Man, and and C uh, when you're fighting Kaiju, make sure you have some way to negate their team ability. Because you you just can't eat through all that mystics, you just can't. Um, if, if you have a whole bunch of them, definitely if you're fighting a whole bunch of them, they they are worse than fighting a, a whole team of mystic characters. Because a whole team of mystic characters don't usually have as much damage reduction as kaiju do. Uh, so that was it. Um, but the the biggest lesson I learned from earlier part in the game was. Uh, to be appreciated by people in receiving that. Um, you know, a lot of folks said happy birthday to me um, and at the venue. Uh, but not only that, we had a, a, a guy at the venue. Uh, he went and brought in ice cream and brownies. And, and I, I'm not a big fan of sprinkles. And there were sprinkles on the brownies, so I really didn't eat the brownie stuff. But I sure did eat like five cups of Bluebell ice cream. And they're like, yay big, but oh well. Uh, and so, you you have to take that in as a as a moment, um, as a person, um, because what what will happen in life if you don't take your snapshot moments, if you don't take those moments that allow you to to just really grab on to that to that essence of time that you're living in, you're you're going to go through life and you're going to say, you know, how did I end up here, and and where's my mark and things. Uh, you know what? What did I do with my life? What What did I really do? Uh, and an appreciation of others uh, is not something that one should build all of yourself around, but it's something that you would you should receive. Uh, there's There's one thing that Proverbs has taught me. In it, it Proverbs, uh, it says, "You know, boast not yourself because you know not what tomorrow may bring. Let others speak well." Uh, for you and it does much better and and so I guess uh, that's uh, one of the big moments from today I guess I, I really felt is that uh, not others speaking well from me in just verbiage um, but showing that in action so uh, play from 12 to 6 uh, <laughs> of, <laughs> of hero clicks I had six hours of hero clicks uh, before I left, which is a little bit longer than a, a normal Saturday, uh, but it, it was fun. Uh, and um, my family and I, we went out to uh, this place called Jerusalem Cafe. They have a bakery, and they serve Middle Eastern food. 
and it is a buffet. Now, I'm you, as, as you can sort of, I don't know if this really tell, you can really see in uh, the essence of this video, uh, I'm a sort of a big guy. Uh, I'm not a bodybuilder guy. I'm, I'm not a roly-poly guy, but I, I am a, a rather large fellow, and I loves me some euros. Uh, and, and so I ate lots of gyro meat, uh, lots of hummus, because the grocery store that I'm at uh, that's near me doesn't sell hummus anymore, which really sucks, really sucks. And um, I'm sorry for the uh, shine up, up top. I had to, like, turn the light on um, so I can get enough light uh, since it's uh, nighttime, as you can tell by the uh, darkness uh, behind me. Uh, anyway, uh, so I ate a, a lot of Middle Eastern food and uh, I usually on my birthday I, I if I have a big meal I usually try to again go back to the snapshot moments and just sort of take it in the food and then try to recall things um, and it's amazing how something as nice as taste can bring you back to various memories that 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 taste will bring vivid images and sounds and smells to your mind not just oh you know I've tasted euros before and I, I thought about you know old times of, of us getting together as a, a family and doing things and you know when my grandmother on my father's side was still alive and uh, a lot of events that we we did as a family you know uh, that just sort of came to mind uh, and and that's that was uh, <laughs> that was fun. So I ended up eating with my mom and my uh, sister-in-law, and uh, we we had a lot of fun uh, just talking. And my mom was telling me about some people from high school uh, that uh, she had met up with, and, and about that they still remembered her and remembered me. <laughs> oh man! Uh, but uh, so that was. That that was nice, and I think it's something that I'm I'm going to try to hold on to as long as I can. Um, I I read my card from my father and my card from my mom and my my sister-in-law, and so it's it was interesting. Uh, my my brother has a tendency of sending me the uh, song, the birthday song from C Lab, uh, which I won't sing uh, on this podcast, uh, but he he's done it. He sent it to me for several years, so uh, it's something that I just expect. <laughs> and and if you ever want to look it up, I'm not going to link it in the uh, show notes or anything like that. So uh, you're you're going to have to find it your, yourself. Uh, but trust me, it's only a Google away, um, and uh, you're probably going to laugh just a, a little bit. Uh, we went to to the movies as well to go see Two Guns. Uh, good good first part of the movie. The the, the, the the second act was good. The ending, I just didn't like it. I'm not going to ruin it for anybody. But I, I just sort of felt that that was like, I was, I was like, really? That's, that's, that's how you win this? Like, for, for those who are a fan of Denzel Washington like I am, this is not flight. And this is not training day. And this is for sure not safe house. Um... You, you can sort of tell that they try to get that safe house vibe and then make Mark Wahlberg funny. And and it didn't work. It, it just it just didn't work. There, there, there were too many tones in the movie where one of the villains, they were trying to make him as like the Joker. Uh, because you know how Joker says, do you know how I got these scars? He has a line, not saying how he got these scars, but it's it's about Russian roulette. And it's sort of lame after the second time you hear it. And, uh, yeah, it's sort of lame. So, anyway, that I, I we just got back from that, so I thought that was a, uh, it was an okay movie, I joke. <laughs> this is a three out of five. <laughs> and I said it wasn't too bad, but you know a movie wasn't that good when you're driving on the way home and everyone's in the car and no one is talking about the movie. So, uh, but yeah, <laughs> no one's talking about the movie. 
So anyway, another reason I wanted to actually show a uh, video uh, was to show you some of uh, the office area in which I uh, record. And uh, for those who have remember like the older episodes, like you, you would see me talk and you would see this like pink wall uh, behind me. Or technically, it's a peach, but it's it's everybody else's mind. It's a pink wall. So, uh, so I'm going to show you all some things. Some of you are going to be like, lucky bastard, you have this stuff. Some of you are like, man, we need a sponsor, uh, Dark Logos, get some organization fun going. Uh, so well, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up the camera and I can sort of see things uh, on the screen. So, so first off, at, in the behind the scenes, you will notice, what's that in the far corner? That's an Infinity Gauntlet. It's been sitting there for a while. I wonder... I, I wonder why. Okay, so we got the uh, the Infinity Gauntlet uh, claw. I got the Loki uh, from uh, Fear itself, month one. Um, I got Hella up here, and I know you're going to be like shaky cam. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's I'm taking a webcam and holding it. Um, yes, that is uh, Batman and Nightwing. Um, uh, yes, that is Scotty. Uh, and uh, I have uh, up top uh, Sentinels, um, lots of Sentinels. Well, not lots of Sentinels, just a good amount of Sentinels. And uh, for those who didn't know, my Batcave. Uh, these over here are Mighty Mugs, and uh, those are from both uh, the Avengers. I mean, Iron Man One and uh, Iron Man Two. Uh, the, the Iron Man is a Mighty Mug from Iron Man 1 Limited Edition, and the second one is uh, Iron Man uh, is War Machine from uh, Iron Man 2. Uh, over here is some, you can see the giant chibi Iceman, uh, a Lieutenant Gordon, uh, oh crap, uh, accomplished perfect physician, uh, a bunch of bats, uh, Terrax. Uh, and and this is again like I put all this stuff up in between tournaments, and this is where it gets put. Uh, I got a Bizarro Supergirl back there, um, the Bat Cycle, uh, a utility belt that's been used a lot, um, a bunch of characters that haven't been used but for a while but just sit out. And yes, that is Renegade. Um, and then this is where it gets a little sad because you can see like this massive amount of clicks right here just just like the it almost looks like Jones Jonestown pretty much uh, yeah that's all 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 that there is pretty much uh, for a lack of a better word all the clicks that I played but failed to put up properly uh, and uh, the the laziness continues um, on to my main area uh, which is literally right in front of the computer uh, <laughs> so I got all of that, and so uh, uh, also you will notice. Uh, I need to actually like take that out. Uh, you will notice a brother voodoo, and uh, possibly saw some of my prescription drugs there. Also, the crazy glue to glue people back on, and uh, my my favorite uh, current meta piece, uh, General Zod. Uh, or aka he who is awesome without the Justice League and Ghost Rider around. Uh, I think I got like another Iron Man back there somewhere. Uh, oh, dude, I got a watch. I forgot about that watch back there. So I need to get that. Uh, I have uh, Crimson Typhoon here. Uh, a free comic book day Green Lantern. Uh, Ravenger, who has not exited the bag and again I wonder why just I wonder why uh, this is Graviton uh, for those who are newer to hero clicks uh, he was probably he is probably the bro brokest uh, incapacitate character ever um, and I had an evil team to combine him with Hawkeye and Tester uh, so yeah and then of course there's uh, the cool Dr. Voodoo and uh, uh, this is also uh, thanks to Tom, a.k.a. Silent Scream, who has given me a uh, Sentry and Void. 
Oh, but it's it's not done, peoples. It's not done. Uh, there's some books and other things that my father has given me. But uh, here's here's some more stuff to let you see that I have all that stuff and all that stuff is hero clicks, okay? All of it. Just okay. And then uh, on that over there, you can see like some more cases of stuff of hero clicks. Oh shoot. Bad cameraman. Uh, the and and horrible glare. Uh, so we're gonna put this right back up here. Okay, so you you might say like dark logos, that's a lot of clicks. And I would tell you the honest truth, I have more upstairs in my room. Uh, speaking of, of more, like just like nearby me, I have, uh, who's this? Oh, yeah, Chester. And uh, the probably other one by me is Master Mold. Yeah, Master Mold. Um... Those two, out, out of all of those Colossals from uh, Galactic Guardians, I would say those those two, in my eyes, were like the strongest. Uh, and, and I know you are going to say Galactus, and, and Galactus is broke strong because he gets a herald. But when you start looking at other elements, you're like, oh, Master Mold and Tester are pretty evil. Um, so, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, I, I got... You don't want to see my, well, my Book of the Red Skull. Where did my, um, I had an invisible jet up here. Oh, it's over there. It's, it's over there. Anyway, and I got more Sentinels upstairs in my room. Uh, so that's not all my Sentinels. I have uh, another of the first Sentinel that was made. And then um, the 300-point standard Sentinel. Um, from GSX, and then I don't know if I have another Toys R Us exclusive scent right now. No, I don't have one of each. So, anyway, uh, oh, and uh, for those who, who thought I may have been joking, uh, yeah, that is Iron Man and Iron Patriot duo. Uh, and I also have uh, the Unspoken or aka Burger King crown. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, I think everything else in this pile up here is for okay. Oh, I got, yo, know, Constantine. Damn. All right. Uh, so, um, that was just, you know, mainly for you all to see. Uh, what do I work in? Uh, and, and you're going to say, well, dang, Dark Logos, you, uh, you surround yourself with hero clicks. No wonder you know you're always thinking about them. Yeah, sort of. Um, my my rig overall is pretty cool, um, and that's uh, that's one thing I I, I do like. Uh, I can I could be in worse predicaments. I mean, like let's let's not lie. It always can be worse, you know. And so it, that's one thing that I'm grateful looking back at is, is that I'm not in a, a worse situation than I am. And I'm unemployed, and yeah, I'm in my mom's house, but I get to make content for you all. I get to, you know, have fun and, and still go out, uh, still have some money in the bank to go do a fear itself uh, now and then at discounted prices. Crazy discounted prices. Um, and it's, it's good to have some favor. And it's good to have some friends. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something uh, that I've never done in the show. And uh, on my birthday, I normally give stuff away. When I played uh, City of Heroes, I would fly around on my Peace Bringer. And uh, I would load my Peace Bringer up like full with money. Like I would farm for a couple of days so that I could give money away to new characters in Atlas Park and Galaxy City. And I would give clues of where I was at. And I would be like, it's my birthday. Come find me. Here's a clue. You know, and sometimes I would give out coordinates. And sometimes I would say, uh, I think it was Galaxy City. Uh, I would say, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm playing basketball. And there was only like one part of the map in which 
if you knew the map, you could find me playing back, but pretending to play basketball. Uh, or uh, I would be flying and giving coordinates, and or I, I would try to hide somewhere, and, and it was fun. Uh, so what I'm going to do is this. I was blessed at uh, Fear Itself, uh, and I pulled a second curve. And pretty much because uh, our venue and the guys that are there have gone other Fear Itself, and then we also can purchase two fair self boosters and we do multiple drafts uh most of us have just about everything i'm missing an angrier and uh colossus which is the two hardest to get uh i don't want dracula i don't want Noel. um i i sold mine the first month uh so i, I made a, a nice little bit of money uh, but uh, anyway, help me pay for my Ghost Rider. <laughs> oh, anyway. Uh, so, in the spirit of giving, I'm going to do this. If this, this actual episode gets 200 views, okay, the first person to email me at startingoverpodcast at gmail.com. That's startingoverpodcast at gmail.com. Uh, with a, a screenshot of, of, the, of the page, and it says over 200 views, and also uh, a, a little letter saying, you don't have Kurth. Please, please don't be that, that, that bastard that, that just wants it so that you can go flip it on eBay. I'm, I'm literally just wanting to give it to a person, um, preferably uh, that doesn't have access to fear itself or their venue isn't going to be running it until, you know, month four or month five or, or you know, just not at all. Uh, so I put ACO codes up on Twitter. Uh, so that was first come, first serve. So uh, they may be out there. They may be. They may not. But I've been blessed. And so I want to help you all out. Um so, and then the second runner-up, I think I got like an extra Heimdall somewhere. Um, I, I know I got like a bazillion Heimdalls because I keep pulling them. Uh, second person, you'll get a Heimdall. Now, here's, here's what I'm going to say. If you do send it to me and you do not live in the United States, okay, as long as the shipping is under $10, I'll send it to you. I'm, I'm not going to front I'll send it to you. Um, and this isn't a contest or blah, 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 legal gambling. Blah, blah. No, this is just me giving a gift. No strings attacks, nothing like that. If shipping to you is under $10, I will I will mail it out there. If shipping to you is, uh, is over $10, I'm sorry, man. You're, you're a bit out of luck. And that includes tracking. Okay. <laughs> so... Um, and I'll say second runner-up will get a high bill um, from Fear Itself. Okay? So, again, everything is, is limited on 200 views, which really isn't too hard. Because most of the time we're it's around like 120. Um, so, 80 more views, 80 more people, you know, looking at it a couple of times. Don't just randomly try to, you know, run up the, the view hits. Uh, and then be like, ooh, look, I got it. Uh, I, I am going to give a little brief period of time of saying, like, hmm, okay, is our folks hustling the system or not? So uh, that's it. Uh, so happy birthday to me. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed the show. And uh, if anything, uh, I hope we, we all can sort of come to this understanding that... Uh, our, our time and our birthdays uh, don't have to be all about us. Uh, that it can be about other people, that it can be about charity, that it can be about uh, giving. So, uh, anyway. All right. Uh, if you like, uh, you can email me at startingoverpodcast at gmail.com. That's startingoverpodcast at gmail.com if you wish to opine. 
Uh, there will probably be a slight delay on the next show because uh, Gen Con is coming up. Uh, I don't know if it's next week or the week after. Uh, but I actually probably won't do a show until after Gen Con. For the main reason, literally, there is nothing to talk about until after Gen Con. Uh, Dragon Con's coming up, people. Uh, if you're going to Dragon Con, um, ask, where is Mr. Howard Brock? I like to shake his hand because starting over podcast told me so. And then, you know, tell her as many people as you can. If you're going to Gen Con, please, you know, spread the word of the show. Like, just ask people, hey, hey have you ever heard of starting over podcast? And he usually interviews the world champion, you know. Um, and there's two world champions this year. There'll be a golden age world champion and a modern age world champion. Uh, so I'm hopefully, hopefully able to get uh, both of them on the show. Uh, hopefully. Not everybody wants to be on podcast now, people. So, uh, Also, uh, if you uh, don't follow me on Twitter, please do. Uh, you will know as soon as it comes up when the show is out. Uh, you can subscribe to me with some magical button wherever, down, up, around, wherever. I, I don't care. Uh, you, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, but pretty much the only thing that's really going to happen is I'm going to be at the bottom of your queue. Uh, so that's why I usually tell people to subscribe to me on Twitter. That's at StartOverPod. Uh, that's at StartOverPod. It came from space. Somewhere with my energy drinks that I rarely drink. Um, yeah. Speaking of which, like these are you like the most genericest crap that you can get from from Walmart. And it's like, hey man, we really want to make you think it's five hour energy, but we're our own thing with a different color, so it's not five hour energy, and we're cheap. Add B12 and caffeine, and you have an energy drink. So uh and, and what's more surprising what's more hilarious is that you can just buy a straight caffeine and B12 in, in that quantity and just add water and you would make pretty much something, you know, just as strong or stronger for like 50 cents. So anyway, um, that's that's me ranting on that. Uh, uh, last but not least, you can um, check out the blog, uh, starting over podcast.blogspot.com. Uh, where you will hear my rantings and musings and other things that uh, relate to uh, me, myself, and I, and sometimes the game, or really mostly the game. Uh, and I will throw some, or really like 90% of the commentary about, oh my gosh, this is spoiled, oh my God, the team bases, it's awesome, this sucks. Oh my, did you see how much damage he did? You know, all that is more on the blog. Uh, and you can sort of tell that that's been removed from the show uh, for the longtime listener. So definitely, if you want some more of my thoughts, uh, there's a cool group of people uh, that comment on the blog uh, from time to time. Uh, and so uh, that's, uh, that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, so definitely uh, check out the blog. Uh, the blog has, like I said, a, a ton of, of good mm, ghibli bits of, of gravy uh, on there so for for you to digest uh, so as as I, I lead out on my birthday um, I'm gonna do something if I can actually get to it on YouTube um, uh, my channel I want to just shout out random people that have subscribed to me, because um, I, I know I can look at them, because I've done this before, because I, I, I'm clicking subscriptions, and it's just pretty much just showing me uh, things that I have subscribed to, <laughs> so it's like, uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is, that's not good. Okay, so uh, we'll do something a little different. And it's going to be like Dark Logos. You call yourself a techie, and you can't navigate YouTube. And it's like, well, dang, yeah, for right now. Uh, here we go. Hitting up. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, Hikiru99. Big ups to you. Uh, Kitsosan. Uh, Bombastic uh, Shot Studios. Uh, Rice Turner. Um, let's see who else here. Uh, do, 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 do. Clicks Walker. How you doing, homie? Uh, happening now post. All right. Oh, no, that was from something else. <laughs> uh, best husband. Cool dude. Uh, also, big ups to Big Will Holland. And <laughs> yeah. Uh, a Pierce Theory. You know, yo, what's up, man? Uh, Warlock uh, 2011. Uh, keep the magic up, son. Uh, Jacob Marcus. Uh, big shout outs to you. Uh, and I know that's like not even half of uh, the user base um, that's uh, that watches the show. So, uh, hey, oh, Ham Hawk, uh, nine thousand one hundred, or it would be Ham Hawk ninety one hundred. That would probably be better. Uh, shout outs to you, sir, as well, uh, and uh, your comments about the Book of the Red Skull episode fifty eight. Oh, man. All right. So uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, I appreciate you all uh, sticking with me uh, for, dang, I don't know if it's like almost close to another year since I did episode 50 where you saw my face like this. And I don't know. Uh, so uh, thanks for listening. Uh, and I, I don't have a show without you all. And uh, you all make me more than... Uh, Feel, feel more than appreciated uh, at times. So thanks for that. So thank you for listening. And remember, we all got to start over sometime. Oh, yeah. Big ups to Joe Keem Adler. Can't graphic is baller. All right. We're out.